Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here with what I melted over the last week. Um, I will a couple hauls this week. I I was very good. I refrained from VCS this month. Frankly, I can't control myself with her. So I do try to refrain as much as I can. Um, and it turned out it was on and off week. It wasn't a pay week. And so my husband gets paid every two weeks. So it worked out it was an off week. And since PayPal got rid of their pay after delivery back in the spring, it's been a lot easier to not splurge because I used to have to use it on the non-pay weeks because um, I'd need that 10 to 14 days for the, you know, till the next week. So it worked out very nicely, but it also encouraged a lot of splurging. So now that PAD is gone, I can't spend as much because I did not, I literally did not have the money to buy anything on restock day. And by the time my husband did get paid, most of what I wanted was gone. So it worked out great. But um, that Smell Good Shop restocked on Thursday and she has free shipping over $25. And if you um, log in and create an account with her, you get points for what you buy. I don't know if y'all know that. And then you can redeem those points for like, I think this last one I got like 25 cents off my next order, which it, it's not a lot, but it's still a little bit. And then L3 had a little restock. So I did order from her. I got my shipping from Odessa's today so that will be coming in so I will have some hauls I haven't had many hauls here lately because I haven't been buying um but anyway so as most of y'all know I had put together my what I wanted to melt through box my fall stuff that I wanted to get through this fall and then I have my separate box that has my bedroom my bathroom and my coffee melts in it and some bakery stuff that I wanted to get through so I'm going to start with Zape. This I got in a random act of kindness slash friend mail slash de-stash. So I had bought a de-stash from a girl and she had included a bunch of other stuff. And, and there was this clamshell and it's lavender coconut milk, which is lavender, vanilla musk and coconut milk. So I did do a one cube the other day. Now I used to not have good luck with Zape's um, wax when I first start. She was the very first vendor I ever bought from and I didn't get a very good throw from her stuff but I've heard she changed her formula and this performed so well I just did one cube and it performed so so well it smells amazing so I will probably buy from her in the future and then I did some spring breeze from L3 this is like a laundry type scent it was really really good it's older though I got into these stash and I know it's fairly old so I want to kind of work through the older stuff I did Cafe Reggio, which is Cafe Mocha Marshmallow. This is one you will see probably, if not every week, every other week. I have a bunch of this. There's still quite a bit left in here. And I have a bunch more. I have a loaf. I have, or it's a loaf mixed with, I think it's Jackio, Cup of Joe, and, Ca and Red Cafe Reggio. And then I have some more like Jackio, Cup of Joe, and those kind of scents. So I have a ton of her coffee scents. So this one is just a year old. And so it still performs very, very well. I did some more Dessa's Marshmallow Noel Pink Lavender Sugar Salty Sea Air. Um, this was a loaf. I got this in a, another D-Stash slash friend mail from uh, Sasha. And this one, she knew that I love this blend. And so she wasn't too keen on it. So she sent this to me along with what I bought in the D-Stash. And I've been hoarding it, but I've had it for over a year now. And I kind of want to finish it up. And then when she reopens in January, I think I'm going to order another loaf because it's amazing. And I did some Lorelei, which this one is just a creamy coffee with that cinnamon donut. Um, the midnight ice cream makes the coffee smell really creamy. And then that cinnamon sugar do or cinnamon donut is not heavy. It's like a sweeter cinnamon. Then I did some Carnival of Souls. And this one is one of my favorites. Cider donuts, pumpkin cheesecake, marshmallow, fireside. This one is my favorite fall blend from VCS. I used to love the order of the Warrens and like order of the arrow and all those smoky scents. And this one has outdone that as my favorites. It's so amazing. Another one I really love is from Kimmery Ann's. It's Cider Lane Cinnamon Sugar Donut Vanilla Bean Noel. You definitely get both the Cider Lane and the Cinnamon Sugar Donut. Um, I don't get a Vanilla Bean Noel, but of course that's a blender and a light scent. Anyway, this one is really good. I have two chunkies of this scent because I melted a whole chunky last fall and loved it. So I ordered two for this fall. And it's really good. You definitely get both of those scents. It smells a lot like the Bath and Body Works. 
Ava's Country Cupboard Lavender Cookie Bread. This one is my all-time favorite bedtime blend from her and my top five from any vendor. This is just an amazing sweet lavender and then you get like a sugar cookie dough bread type scent. It's amazing. I love this scent. This is one of the first things I ever melted from her back when I first started buying wax. I got a leaf in this scent and it was it was gorgeous. So I cut my smileys in half actually and melt a half at a time and it performs very, very well. All right, next is Campfire Marshmallows from Rose Girls. I love this scent. This is a nice, kind of like a, it's kind of like a marshmallow fireside, but it's more heavy on the, um, it's more heavy on the, um, the marshmallow. It's kind of like a creamy marshmallow rather than a marshmallow fireside type scent, but it's still, you get a little hint of it, but it's still really good. And then I did some Rosemary's Baby, and this is Rosemary Mint Bedtime Bath and Herbal Lavender. I love this scent. This is one of my go-tos. I have body care in this that I'm working through. It's just an amazing, calming bedtime blend. I'm trying to get through the stuff I didn't finish before I do the stuff I finished. Um, I hope if I had turned around. Apple Fritternilla Noel from Rose Girls. This is really nice, too. This was a nice apple bakery and a hint of that Noel wafers. <clears throat> I did some of this Caramel the Perfect Autumn Cider Lane types from Kimmer Ann's. This was my free sample I got in one of my last orders. I did do a cube in my kitchen. This is more of a um, cinnamon, like a s cinnamon cider type. Like, a, what was I looking for? What's the word? I'm looking for, like, it's more of a... A spicy cider, not a sweet cider. That's what I was looking for. Um, on warm, it is much more spicier. Um, it's not one I would ever buy on my own, but I'll finish it because, you know, it was free. I can put it in a room that I'm not in a lot or something. Count Your Blessings. This one is Crisp Sheets Warm Fuzzies. This is a really nice kind of like a laundry type blend. Um, I only have that little piece left, so that will get finished this week. I did some Cranberry Lodge from Scoobable Tart Wax. Now that the air is off, I'm getting a good throw from her stuff. I did not get a good throw from her stuff when my air was on. So I de-stashed a good bunch of my um, stockpile of her stuff because we have the air on six, seven months out of the year. And I feel like I didn't need that much of her wax if I can't melt half the year. I feel like it's wasteful if I melt it when I can't smell it. And my Pro Wax only performs well in my house if I don't have the air on. So this was a really nice scent. This just reminds me of, it kind of reminds me of going to a craft store, but it also has kind of like, there's a place that, that we went to back when my in-laws were in town called, what is it? <laughs> Museum of Appalachia. It's in Clinton, Tennessee, which is just about 45 minutes to an hour north of us. I think it's north. Fuck, I don't know. Um, it felt like it was north. But anyways, this kind of smelled like their their gift shop, I guess, if I can explain it. And the last thing I didn't finish is vanilla pumpkin mallow vanilla butter fudge waffle cone. I don't like butter fudge in wax. I did not like this. So this I will finish up quickly. I still have three quarters, so I will finish that up ASAP. All right, now on to what I finished. So I finally finished Casper. This one I got in last Wax Wednesday. I wanted to finish it before Wax Wednesday this year. I'm trying to finish all my stuff that I bought last year at Wax Wednesday because it's approaching a year. Wax Wednesday is what, two and a half weeks away? Three weeks away? I don't know. Campfire Donuts. This one I did not really like. This one had like a heavier embers type scent. It wasn't as... I mean, I knew it wasn't going to be as sweet, but I thought with the vanilla, the toast marshmallow, it would be a little bit sweeter, and it really wasn't. Um, Dracula from Super Tarts. I don't know the scent notes on it. I did like it. It was two little, two little shapes, and I liked it. It smelled really good. I couldn't tell you the scent notes, though. Monster Mash. This graveyard smash of fall fruits would make the perfect punch. Sweet apple cider, pear slices, pomegranate, persimmons. This was very fruity. Um, I did this in my kitchen. It was a little, like, shape. Um, I did this in the kitchen. It was really nice. It was very, very, very fruity. I'm not a fan of the heavy fruity, but it was still good. Um, Cider Lane, Cinnamon Sugar, Dunce, Vanilla Bean, Noel. So I finished this one and started on a, a new one. 
So this is, yeah, this is the same thing that that is. So I finished this. This is good. I just talked about it a few minutes ago. A gooey goodness. This one's really, really good. I got the popcorn, which I wasn't a fan of, but the rest of it was really good. That green apple, caramel, and the toasted marshmallow smelled really good. Strawberry apple strudel. This is a Rose Girls sample. This is really good. I got mostly the apple strudel, and it was fine. Um, caramel apple waffle cone. I really like this one. This is a really good blend. It smelled very, very good on warm. It was just a sweet caramel apple and then you got the hint of bakery from the waffle cone fresh laundry from lake providence lodge this smells amazing this was like wet laundry you took out of the washer and was either going to put it in dryer or put it on the clothesline you would not believe you would not believe the comments that i got on my last video when i mentioned i had this People, yeah, I know she closed. I know her wax is sought after, but you don't go on somebody else's video that they're not selling the items and say, oh, you're you're melting a sought after vendor. If you have more of that, let me know. I'll buy it. I didn't say I was selling any of her stuff. This is all I had of her, hers anyway. But don't, it's really rude to come on somebody else's vid, video and say, hey, you know, if I was going to say, oh, I have so much LPL, I really don't know what to do with it all. Then I'd understand you messaging me or commenting and saying, hey, if you would need to unload, uh, you know, I'd be happy to buy it from you. But this is all I had was one single scent shot in this. And she's like, you know, you're melting a very sought after vendor. And if you have any more you don't want, um, I'll buy it. I never said I was selling at all. I never once said I was selling her stuff. So it's really rude to do that. So I'm going to start having to get rid of some people <laughs> who are going to start coming like that. But this is really good. This was... Like I said, it smelled like that fresh, wet laundry right out the washing machine. I would have bought that again if she was still open. London Rain from Destination Wax. This is really good also. This was very, this was very fresh. This, it did have a scent of like a, it had a light cologne note, but it was, it was fine. It did not bother me. I did that one in the, I did all these in the bathroom. The ones that are laundry or, um, rain or anything like that pomegranate apple cider from destination wax this is really good as well this one was a little bit spicier apple cider as well but it performed very well and i actually really liked it this one i got in a d stash it's a butterscotch french toast from lasting scent candles this was a disaster and a half i had three quarters of this left this was a absolute mess to get out of the container excuse me could not even get it out of the container all the way and it didn't really throw, so I don't really have anything to say about it. Rosemary Mint Salty Sierra Noel from Sugar and Spice. I love this scent. This, I love her Rosemary Mint. When you mix it with Salty Sierra, it is absolutely amazing. So that one's one I will buy again if she ever reopens. I miss her. I'm trying to not hoard her wax, but it's hard because I don't know if she's opening again or not. All right, Miracle on 34th Street. So this one is fresh fallen leaves, creamy pumpkin pie topped with toasted marshmallow. This one was really good. I didn't think I was going to like it because I'm having issues with that fresh fallen leaves scent. It kind of is like almost too manly or cologne for me, but this was really good. I really enjoyed this one. Oh, Hotel Cortez. I don't have the scent notes. This one I hated. Absolutely hated. It's like trash light jays cake. And something else. Did not like it whatsoever. I'm like losing my table here. I finally finished Sugared Cinnamon Donut from Goose Creek. This I've had for I think two years now. I think I got it in the fall of 2016. It was good. I just was glad to get rid of it. I've had it for so long. Funnel Cake Mac Apple. So I cut this in half. And I put a half in my living room. And my husband said what is that? It is so strong. And... It was good, but it had like the funnel cake had sort of a cinnamony note. Um, so then I actually cut the other half in two pieces and put it in my office and dining room warmers together. Um, and it was a little better, but I but half was just way too strong. So next time I'll do a quarter. And the last thing for this week is Sweet Lavender Snuggle. This is another one I would get in a heartbeat. It's heavy on the snuggle. It is lighter on the Sweet Lavender, but it's so good. I love laundry blends with lavender it is amazing so if she ever reopens i'll be grabbing that too 
So that is everything I went through this week. I tried to focus more on like emptying the scent shots. And so like if I do these scent shots, usually I quarter them. So it takes four, four times to go through them. So they do last longer. Um, the bedroom that ones I do a half at a time. And then every other room, I usually do about a quarter at a time. So it takes quite a while to get through um, a scent shot. So I didn't have as much to melt because I'm really focusing on trying to finish up. If I start a scent shot and want to try to finish it in that week and not hold it over to next week like this one. You know that I have one melt for this week. So it's kind of pointless to put that back in my bin, but I'm going to obviously. So I might throw up my bathroom now. I haven't changed my wax out yet. So anyways, that is everything. And I will be back with a couple hauls later this week. I'll have my October empties later this week and I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great day. Bye.